Good afternoon, good afternoon. It's an exciting Sunday. Uh, we're here at the Fifth Third Arena uh, for TBT Cincinnati Regional 2024. I'm here with Coach Aaron Walker. Co How you doing this afternoon, Coach? Doing great today, brother. Doing great today. So um, just give the uh, fans a, a quick background of uh, who you are, where you come from, yeah, yeah, and your uh, message. I'm Coach E. Um, from Rock, uh, Virginia, currently. Born and raised in Lexington, I'm a skill development fundamental coach uh, throughout the country, representing 38 states. Uh, our motto is that uh, uh, we work. Uh, we play with passion. We play our passion to create performance. Um, and you'll see today through their perseverance and hard work that we're going to be electric today. We're going to be electric today. Today is all about us going out playing hard every play. So that's what we're here to do today. Uh, so you, you uh, opened up a smooth transition, so we had a, a tough, hard-fought game against Team Gibson uh, to start off the tournament. Today we got takeover BC. Uh, what is just a quick, a few points of emphasis that you guys were highlighting in your practice yesterday without giving too much of the game plan? Well, you know, they, uh, their physical team, uh, their bigs are, are talented, they're skilled, uh, and uh, we're just trying to really be able to, you know, in boxing you got to throw jabs to keep them off of you. So we're going to try to jab and then throw blows with them. Uh, in the same concept of basketball, you know, uh, playing them physical. You know, playing physical with, with respect to the game uh, and not, uh, you know, get out of character uh, with, with our display of uh, the verbal piece, just back it up in action. Back it up in action. So, Coach, so coach um, you guys had a tour day on the first day we all got in town. Um, before the first game, we see guys out here now uh, two and a half, three hours before the game on the empty court, taking advantage of open opportunities to get better. Um, it seemed as if the energy and the camaraderie and the chemistry of the group have really gelled at, at a quick time in a very short window. Um, how could you say that has happened so efficiently? You know, we took the air out of the ball and had conversations to get understandings, and that's principles in life. You've got to have communications to get understanding. And we, we, we set the, the biblical principle. I mean, we, we're grounded in a spiritual walk, and these guys are able to sit down and have, you know, great conversations to get understandings of how people are living. You know, and once we understand how people are living, then we have a, a certain respect, different respect for each individual um, to be able to get them to move in certain ways. We feel that, you know, once we get into that mindset, that we can ask them to climb mountains backwards. Um, and they're willing to do so. So I think it's a respect factor that we respect them and they respect the wisdom in the coaching staff that's uh, well put together. Uh, we have a great staff that understands one another and allows uh, each, and in, each individual coach to be just that, which reflects to the player, and we show them that we're, we're a unit as well. So that just trickles down, and I think it creates that mindset of we got to do this together. We do it better together. Absolutely, absolutely. Just a, so, so we talked a lot about the team, uh, Dream Thirty Four. We talked a lot about the TBT. I just want to get into your personal background just a little bit, um, Coach. Uh, being from Virginia, how have your upbringing uh, crafted who you are as a man? I'm from Norfolk, Virginia, and I, I, I tell people all the time, although I'm, I stay in Raleigh, North Carolina, currently um, I take that walk that I grew my first 18 years with me everywhere I go. Um, so, what are some things that, that you have grown in terms of character traits? Uh, from being from Virginia? You know, it, it stems down to my mother raising five, five of us, you know, by herself. And, and the fact that, you know, she t she taught us to, to love everybody. She taught us that, you know, we, we got to go out and, and create, you know, the respect to other people to get respect. Um, you know, that's just the foundation of who I am. I'm a, I'm a love person. You know, if I love, I love hard. Um, you know, but it's tough being uh, coming from Rockbridge County. Um, the culture is different, um, so I'm able to identify some things that most people read about or see on television. Um, I'm able to smell it because yeah. I've been in it. I'm able to see it. I know what it looks like. Um, so with that, you know, I try to, you know, infuse these guys, inject them with some some wisdom. Being the older coach on, on the staff, with you know, okay, we can't handle this situation like this. Let's try it this way. And then let's circle back around and see what the outcome is. So it's almost as though we can we deal with the consequences of the action before we oh, yeah. even get into the action. Oh, yeah. You follow me? So we talk about those kind of things in the locker room. And, 
you know, again, we want to just display a sense of professionalism all the way across. We want to check the boxes. Absolutely. And uh, final question uh, for the for the uh, afternoon is def I'm gonna make this one defensive oriented. Um, it's been a heavy defensive emphasis um, that I've seen just from watching you guys uh, make adjustments on the sideline, uh, what you guys are in terms of praising and what you guys are, are trying to get over to the team, um, even in practice. Um, how, how do you think curating a defensive mentality takes you farther than uh, just focusing so much on offensive sets or how many buckets a team well, can we, get? You know, I mean, these guys are pros. And they understand the assignment that you know, we, we got to stop them from scoring. Oh, yeah. Um, we are loaded with, with scores from all levels, three-level scores uh, in abundance. Um, and then we do have these dogs out here that want to play defense. They have a passion and, and, and a desire to want to stop somebody. And it's not just stopping them. We, we taking them off their personal best. We taking them off their averages. We taking them off uh, uh, one to let them just get off. You know, that's, that's something that they take pride in. You know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing to watch. Uh, their passion for performance on defense is it's just unmatched. You know, and it helps to have, you know, Vetchin Peterson on the squad. It helps to have Cologne on the squad. I mean, Ray is a, a phenomenal defender. Greg, great defender. We'll see it today. You know, we'll see it today that uh, these guys are able to display that, that fight that we, we uh, assemble this team to do. Absolutely. Um, I want to give a chance to say this in every video. Uh, shout out to Coach Reg, Coach Scott, Amen. Coach Ian, and the Wonder Scott Foundation Amen. for giving uh, the Risky Powerhouse this opportunity Amen. to cover the team uh, for the Cincinnati Regional for here today for the TBT 2024. Coach E, thank you for your time. Hey, y'all plug in, man. Let's go be great today as a unit. Gear it up.